Hey guys, it's still Wednesday. I'm Luluco and this is Geeks of the Week. Since Steph likes bonding over card games with Nikki more than she likes bonding over Dokopon Kingdom with me, I'm gonna ignore her and everybody else um, because I want to discuss my experiences at ALA, partially because I don't know what else to talk about and partially because I have thoughts and opinions and I had some really cool stuff happen, so I just want to share my experiences with you guys. It wasn't a spectacular weekend. I still had a good time overall. A couple hiccups, it's normal. Um, I will say I wasn't super crazy about the location. Um, not many good places for photo shoots. The pool deck was just way too crowded to be fun. I did really enjoy the Starbucks in the hotel lobby. And I only saw about half the people I expected to see, even though a ton of people from Arizona were there and some of my California friends are there, and I only got stopped for photos like seven times the whole weekend. So those things were kind of a bummer. On the flip side, I had no drama with other people. Most of it was me hating myself, so that's good. The con staff was like the absolute best I've ever had the pleasure of interacting with. Um, like every person was really nice and really knowledgeable and really helpful. and can I just tell you how hard it is to find that in convention staff? So, really good job there, ALA. Something else that the con did that was genius. They had bean bags and benches everywhere. Benches were like painted with like anime characters and stuff so it fit with the theme and it's like, oh my god, a con with places to sit, I I want to go to there. I also got to hang out with my friend, voice actor Patrick Seitz. Um, if you guys don't remember, which you probably don't, um, and if you do, I'm sorry, but I'm never going to stop thinking this is cool. Um, I was a guest liaison for Patrick at a con around this time last year. Um, so we've run into each other at a few cons since then. And every time he always remembers me and he gives me big hugs. Um, I got to hang out with him a little bit longer than I usually do, which is super cool. Thankfully, most of all, I didn't hear about any sort of violent happenings at all, which I'm just really, really thankful for. Um, I think the craziest thing that happened was just people getting drunk in the hallways, so that's good. One of the things I forgot to show you guys is this freaking awesome print I got. We were in the artist alley on Sunday and just happened to like see this table with all this awesome Skullgirls art. And we were like, this is really freaking cool. It looks like the artist drew this. And the guy sitting there was like, I'm the artist. The artist for Skullgirls was in the freaking artist alley wasn't a guest, he was just there. He paid to have a freaking table there. And I got this print, and he signed it. And just like, boom! How do these things happen? Like, duh! So cool! Probably the best thing of all was running my panels. Um, as I mentioned last week, again, I keep mentioning it because I'm really proud of myself. Um, it was my first time running panels in an out-of-state con. That was like a really big honor for me. And except for the panel that was scheduled, at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Did I mention that ALA is a big party con? Hangovers, hangovers everywhere. I had nearly full rooms for all of my panels, so like about like 150 people saw my panels, which is like, <laughs> like what? Like I'm just some nobody from out of state, and like I can't even get that many people to show up to my panels here where they know me, so to have that kind of attendance is just really really amazing. <laughs> yeah, and then I had like people stopping me in the dealer's hall to tell me how much they liked my panels, and I'm like, that doesn't happen to me, and yet it's happening, and it was just so, so freaking cool. But there's one story I gotta tell you guys because it just, it hit me right in the Kokoro. The highlight, pretty much the highlight of my whole weekend, um, so Saturday morning, I had chosen not to finish Catherine for reasons I'll explain later. Um, but I was able to finish my other costume, which was Nine from Blaze Blue, and it was my first time wearing it, and first time you wear a costume, there's almost always hiccups. Something doesn't fit right, something's falling off. This one had just wardrobe malfunctions out the wazoo, and I just was not feeling good about myself, like, like I was not in a good mood. And of course, my first panel of the entire weekend of that day was... Face Your Cosplay Fears, in which I go into a room of people and try to help them feel good about themselves and feel good about cosplay. And I'm like, how am I supposed to do that if I can't even feel good about myself? You know, not only did I feel a lot better um, about myself at the end of the panel, 
I actually had a girl come up to me afterwards, and she she wasn't in cosplay. She had Ramona Flowers hair, though. I remember that, because I remember thinking her hair was super awesome. Anyway, um, and she came up to me after the panel, and she wasn't in cosplay, and she just had, like, the most tear-filled eyes I've ever seen. And, like, I could tell she was just, like, just gonna go cry any minute now. And she told me, thank you for doing this panel. I didn't finish my costume, and I was feeling really bad about myself, and you made me feel better. <laughs> and I'm just... Guys, like, <laughs> this sort of stuff doesn't happen to me. Like, I try really hard to be helpful to people and to make people feel welcome in the cosplay community, but I've never really felt like I've actually done it, and to have somebody say something like that to me, especially after I'd been feeling that way about myself, and I've been feeling that way about myself for, like, two whole years, that was just freaking incredible. I, I just can't explain how amazing that feels to know that people are really touched by your work. Um, aside from that, ALA treats their panelists better than any con I've ever been to. They have a volunteer in the room at all times to kind of make sure things are going okay, and if you have any technical difficulties, they are right there to take care of it for you. They provided water for all the panelists, which I've never seen any con do except for the guests of honor, so I, like, I felt like super important because I had water at my table. Um, and even better, we got these super nifty placards with our names on them and the ALA logo and then our schedule on the back. So freaking cool. Like, so yeah, ALA wasn't like the greatest con ever, but they do treat their panelists and attendees very well. Um, so I'll definitely consider attending next year. So before I go, I just want to share something that I realized about myself that I hope I can pass on to others and maybe help them. I struggle a lot as a cosplayer, um, largely because I'm always trying things I've ever done before, like, I'm a creative person, I'm a crafty person, but I'm not really an artistic person, and, like, I have taken one professional sewing class ever, so a lot of this is just, like, me groping blindly in the dark, hoping that things turn out okay. Um, and I think I mentioned last week that pretty much every costume I made last year, I want to remake, because I know I'm better than what like crapped out and I realized that this whole time I felt like that was a weakness because I felt like it was only holding me back and what I realized is that when I make something new that I've never made before in the process of making it I learned so much about what to do better and more importantly what not to do that by the time I get to a finished or nearly finished product I end up completely hating what I've made, and that makes me feel like I'm such a crappy cosplayer. It's just been endlessly frustrating, and I just feel like I keep hitting wall after wall no matter how hard I try. And believe me, you guys, I try my ass off to improve myself, but it just feels like for a year I just feel like I've gotten absolutely nowhere. And I realized that just because I don't make something right the first time doesn't mean that I can't make something good in the end. I just have to do it again because I can guarantee you it won't turn out perfect the second time probably, but it'll turn out way better because I learned so much just from the trial run. And so I just want to pass this knowledge on to any creative soul who's been struggling or has struggled in the past because this was a huge epiphany for me and it's really change the way that I'm looking at things now. So, as cheesy as this might sound, if you feel blocked, if you feel frustrated, if you feel like you're not moving forward, keep trying. I know that's really obvious advice, but honestly, like, as long as you're learning, you know, every time you try, even if it doesn't end up being as successful as you want, as long as you learn something, you haven't failed and you haven't made a mistake. And, you know, maybe when you fall down this time, it'll be that one time, it'll be that time that you realize what's holding you back is what can help make you great. And I know that doesn't mean much from a no-name cosplayer like me who can't finish anything, but I can tell you guys, I'm never giving up, so I don't want to see anybody else give up either. This has been Wednesday on Geeks of the Week. That's me. I'll see you guys next week.